Welcome to another video. Now, I said to you before on the last video, we're going to have a look at another GoPod. Welcome to another video. Now, I said to you before on the last video, we're going to have a look at another GoPod. So, really, you'll have watched out of the video and taken all the um, stuff I said about it, good and bad, uh, and it's spec. Now, it's obviously spec'd up, and this one's the same. And what uh, Redline is trying to do is they're trying to see if people are like this as a new type of interior finish. And it's all in blue. Now, I went into this before um, when it was raining and miserable and the sun's now coming out. Uh, and it looked nice. Uh, but I, th I think out of the two, I don't know, I think, I, I don't know, I'm a bit stuck. Anyway, see what you think. Let's have a quick guided tour because we're not going to go into full video on this uh, like we did with the with the... Uh, exterior uh, white one there and the different interior finish um, so we'll just go through okay right so obviously all the same setup um, blue upholstery looks rather smart looks rather nice let's see what you think uh, that looks good Tim what's actually when I've said a, 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 a review as such um, what I did forget to mention was this um, shelf here, I, I feel it would be better if it was just made a few inches sort of wider. Uh, that's for general, so I forgot to mention that in the other video. Anyway, back to this. You've got your, your magazine little rack thing down there. Uh, your pouch, of course. And again, the upholstery is pretty um, straightforward. It's, it's, it's quite comfortable. But it's when you get to this stage, of course, you start looking, oops, and you've got your blue finish. Now, I think it looks really smart. Also, the ha the uh, catches are different on this one as well. Now, um, the catches on the the on the other video, uh, I think is far better than these. These are sort of, to me, a little bit old hat now. And these can go a bit wonky after a few years. I don't know if you've noticed them. I've noticed them on second hand stuff. Um, Everything's the same, of course, uh, as i.e. The, the the kitchen, but the colour is completely and utterly different. I'll just twirl it around here. Um, you might be able to see it a bit better. But I really like this colour. I do like the pastel blue. It looks really smart. What do you think? Now, I said this is only going to be a small video, so I'll just quickly run through. Um, control panel, USB points. More uh, new again 2024 lockers um, on both sides, LED lights underneath, um, uh, the, the Dometic fridge, also the pull out storage, and all the other storage. As I say, what I think they should have done with the wardrobe is definitely probably done away with those shelves and, and probably tried to do something with, with the hanging space. See what you think. So you've got the blue, even the shells are blue. <laughs> There's your Vision Plus tally area that sticks on. So I don't know how those would perform. I think you'd have to be sat on probably the transmitter to get a decent signal with them. I don't know. 
But it looks really good, don't you think? I think so. It looks good, but I don't have that other finish to do quite like that. Um, plus as well, they've got a different finish on the kitchen here. There's this gloss, uh, which is quite nice. So it all really looks really good. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer the blue or do you, do you prefer the, the other uh, interior where it's got the white covered doors? I'm a bit, I don't know, I can't, um, I can't really decide. Hang on, let's have a think. Right, come on. Start sending your remarks, tell us what you like, tell us why you like it um, and I'll see if I agree. I'm swaying, I think, towards either one. Because um, I just feel, I don't know, it just feels a little bit more market. But anyway, the GoPods, as we know, great little tourers, great little micro caravans. Um, featured in my micro caravan book. I'm not sure if I featured these in my caravan visual history book either. I've forgotten now. It seems like moons ago that I did that. Um, so, yes. So, anyway, you'll see these at the end show. NEC show. If you see me knocking about, please do come and say hello, like I said on the last video. Um, and um, and and yeah, give us me give us your exact things. What you think that these are like? If you think they're great, or you think they're getting a bit expensive, everything's going expensive. So and it's GRP, it's plastics, it's all. So the shell has taken a big a lot of the cost up and also of course transporting them here we're not in the uh, EU anymore so um, at the end of the day there's certain tariffs and all that sort of business and, and what have you so it's you know things have gone up um, but I think for the money for what you can find on the market like exactly like this I'm not talking about buying a Bailey Discovery D42 or a um, an Explore 304 or anything that's a different caravan altogether. This is a micro caravan, and the, to be quite honest, it's got very little to compete with it. And I'm surprised that nobody has actually thought of anything to compete at all. They've come up with something very similar. Um, oh, just one thing this does pull down quite easy. Uh, the top here, pull down, and then these clips you press it on these press studs underneath here, too. So, uh, just sort of remind you on that one. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you like this video it's just like the other one. This has been a quick re re run, vi run through because of the different colour scheme. I don't know, this blue's sort of getting on to me now. I'm starting to, yeah, I'm quite liking it. Yeah. Anyway, keep liking, please subscribe, and please keep watching the channel. I'll see you on the next video.